When Python code crashes, most people don't really understand why. Those red error messages you see are called exceptions. They're actually Python trying to tell you what went wrong. There are two main types of errors, syntax errors and runtime errors. Syntax errors stop your code before it even runs. They're usually simple things like missing quotes, a colon, or a bad indentation. Basically, Python checks your code's grammar and refuses to run if something breaks the rules. These are usually quick fixes. But then there are runtime errors, the trickier ones that happen while your program is running. Here are some of the most common you'll see. A value error is where you give the right type but the wrong value, like integer and then the string called hello, as shown on the screen. Type error is when you mix types, like trying to add a string with an integer. Name error is when you use a variable doesn't exist yet, like calling print x before defining what x actually is, and zero division error, which is where you divide by zero. Now, what if the user causes the problem? Like they type cat into an int input statement and Python freaks out. It will just crash. But that's where the try and accept come in. Look at the example on the screen. As you can see in the first two lines, it's trying the, the risky line of code, and if something goes wrong, the accept line catches it and gives a result. 